Hey guys and welcome back to another Football Manager Mobile 2020 YouTube FC Custom Club Series. So where we left off we had some good results but ultimately we had to end the episode on a defeat 1-0 to Oldham who are quite high in the table they're third right now after that win. Now we've got also Rotherham and Crawley and uh, yeah let's get right into it guys. We'll be versing them away. Alright, so we've got Mark Ellis here is injured, the English midfielder, for about two weeks. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so everyone's come back from international duty. That's good. We have some options on the bench and the reserves. So um, let's put in Havigimana there. We're going to obviously bring in Sachin, the man in form right now. Uh, where shall we? just the thinking who to put on enigmatics been doing well. Who was is it Guerrero? No, five was it Frankie? Yeah, Frankie is going to take Guerrero's spot, and I'm going to put Guerrero's spot Guerrero on the bench. Got Rodriguez, Novotka is going to be on the bench as well. We've got Baskarin. And put Baskerin on for Jawara and how did I perform in the last game? Got a seven, we got Smith here, Dominic Smith. Alright, so we're gonna bring in Gonzalez for myself, and I'm gonna put myself on the bench. And uh we have Smith for Jackman and then Pinosawa over there. I think that should be a decent lineup, guys. Um, yeah, let's get straight into it, guys. So before that loss against Walsall, we were on a four winning streak, which is quite good considering how uh, badly we started off the season. And this is the formation, uh, a bit more aggressive from Walsall in comparison to us. Let's get straight into it, though, guys. Here's Walsall, get the first half on the way. He's having a mana, good interception. Rodriguez to Gorjao, a good pass in between the players. Fortunately, nothing comes, comes from it. Oh, good, good tackle, Ukar. He has to get rid of it. Ukar commits a very atrocious mistake. He should have cleared that or should have passed it to someone, but he keeps it and we concede. So 1-0. Not off to a great start. Let's see the replay. As we can see, it falls. It's a good interception from Ukar, but then he had to get rid of it. Instead, he kept it and uh, that's 1-0. Hopefully, we can uh, score before half time. get an uh, equaliser quickly. Okay, Sachin, we lose the ball. Good from Smith, but we still lose it again. Baskerin, not the best of tackles, and it will be a free kick to Walsall. And he gets a yellow card as well. He's not going to escape that. Good interception. Here's Frankie. Is he going to score? Yes, he is, guys. 1-1. One, one. And what an opportunity, and what a counter-attack, should I say. If we're going to see the replay, it all started off from a free kick that was not taken very well by the by the opposition. Here we can see it bounces off. It's Baskerin who actually makes a very, very good pass to Frankie. Whether it was an intentional or not, uh, whether it's just a clearance, we probably won't find out. But it's a good assist nevertheless. And it is 1-1 and things are looking good. A bit of scramble in the box here. Sachin, the main man in form to Rodriguez. Havigimana and Gojao gets a second goal for us. Uh, the flag is staying down. Although the players are protesting. I think there might be a yellow card here for uh, for dissent. We're going to have to see about that. But it's 2-1 guys. We've managed to turn the result around uh, just before half time as well. Which, which is more than what I was hoping for. Let's see the replay again. Here's Sachin. 
picks it up on the right. His, his uh, cross doesn't go in, but Gojao gets it. And it is 2 1. Okay, we need to be careful here in the, in the defensive phase. We don't have the perfect trap record. Oh, oh it's a penalty. There is a penalty for Wolves, so I'm not sure what happened. Who tackled because that notification came in the way. It's all down to Vienna, though, to save us here, if possible. And they put it over, guys. So the scoreline remains 2-1 uh, going to half time, which is good. Oh, it was uh, Frankie he scored both goals. I mean, am I mistaken? It looked like Gojao scored that second goal, but uh, it must be a glitch. But anyway, Frankie with two goals, that's good. Half time, guys, and the match is is going well so far. I mean, we managed to get away with that penalty uh, that they missed. Good from Baskerin to find Rodriguez. Not the best of balls from Rodriguez, but we do get it again, and. The 60th minute, Smith with a free kick in the halfway line. Here's Okara to Sachin. Sachin loses the ball, but it was an illegal attempt to take the ball off him, which means it's a free kick for us. Okara tries to put in a quick free kick, and it just gets deflected into the arms of the keeper. Sixty fifth minute. Come on, lads. Gotta keep it going. Let's make some changes for the final twenty minutes or so. Get some fresh legs and uh, see who maybe perhaps has not been performing up to the standard. I'm gonna find out in just a second. All right. So the whole team is basically on sevens. Ukar's on a six. So, um, but I'm not gonna replace him because I don't have a central midfield I can replace him with. We got Pinasawa here, but I think he can only play in a attacking position. Uh, so we're going to bring in Novotka this time for Sachin, uh, give him a chance. And let's bring on Sambo for Rodriguez as well. Uh, just switch up the wingers. Um, not, that, not that they put a bad performance or anything, but I just want to bring in some fresh legs as well down those uh, wings. 12 minutes remaining, guys. And we, uh, the way it looks so far, it is going to be another win, hopefully. That'll be a good start to this new episode. Here's a corner kick, very dangerous, we need to defend this well, and we do just that for now, but not for long, um, we concede in the 81st minute, it was the second cross that got put in, here we can see, so first cross, uh, successfully defended, and then it just falls down to again, and no one was marking the far post, and that's 2-2 two -two guys, unfortunately. Okay, we get... The kickoff going and it looks like this is probably going to be the last chance of the game. Here we lose it again. Smith. Frankie's probably not going to get that. No, he's not. Clears it out and I think we might just have a few seconds left if these guys can hurry up and get the ball. Here's Baskerin. Come on. To Sambo. And I think that's it, guys. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's all over, guys. We just we couldn't hold on to that win. Um, but we did well to even come back from 1-0 down, 2-1, in a matter of uh, minutes. All right, guys, on to the next game. It's probably going to be the last game. I'm trying to keep these episodes a bit shorter now. Uh, so, apparently, Ukar is under fire for his performances uh, at YouTube FC. So, we're going to reply saying... We're going to have a faith in him. He's a very good uh, midfielder. So we're going to say he will come through. Okay, so apparently the system manager has informed me that Okar appears to be angry about my comments to the media. 
and he seems to be determined to improve his efforts in training to prove me wrong. So apparently his morale has decreased. I don't know what I said wrong really. I mean, was it the fact that I admitted he's not doing well? I mean, is that a big problem? Uh, to me, that's a big, uh, big journey in a player's career. When a manager admits they're not doing well, it should give them courage or it should like bring them back down to earth to realize that they're not performing as well. But it seems like it's having the uh, opposite effect on Ukar. And I find that the squad has lost um, respect for me because of that altercation. It wasn't even an altercation, but uh, it's a bit stupid. So we're going to gonna just head into the next match and see what happens. But I'm not very pleased with Ukar's uh, attitude at the moment in the squad uh, after that. It's just attracting attracting a lot of attention. I mean, negative attention towards the club. We just don't need that right now. We're not in the best of league. Uh, I'm not in the best position in the league. So uh, it's really unnecessary. Let's put on Jack. Wait, what's Jackman? Wow. Okay, so he's struggling with his form. Let's put on for Havi Gimana. And then let's bring on... Um, so we're gonna keep it. We're gonna put Pinasawa on for Gorjao. and Frankie's gonna keep his place because he has been scoring some good goals lately. Okay, guys, final game of this episode. Let's see if we can snatch a win. It would be really good to get back on track in this episode after having uh, that first draw. Good from Sachin. Picks it up. Finds Ukar. Jackman loses it very sloppily over there, and we could be in for a counter, but. Uh, fortunately nothing comes out of it I need to stop losing uh, balls in the mid the literally the midfield area because it's it's attracting a lot of counter attacks down on and we know we can't really defend that well here's a free kick for Rotherham it, oh is it a corner I'm not really sure what that was I wasn't paying attention and there is another corner kick guys just to, just to about get away with that one and here's a straight a uh, uh, goal for Rotherham straight from the corner and in 25 minutes we already find ourselves 1-0 down it's a bit of a deja vu going back to the previous matches before our good a good run of form conceding silly goals from set pieces and counter attacks we've seemed to succumb back to those kind of uh, ways but uh, we're going to have to see how we're going to respond to this his Ukar he picks it up nicely his Basker and needs to find Rodriguez and we do get a uh, throw in deep into the opposition's half. His Baskerin. It's a penalty, guys. Frankie got tripped up. So it's going to be a penalty. I'm not sure who's taken it. I forgot who I put on the corner. I think it might be Ukar. Oh no, I said I was going to put him off. This guy always misses. He actually always misses a penalty. He has not scored one penalty this season, I swear to God. I'm so stupid. I said, I don't know how many games ago I would have changed him, but I didn't. And I kept him and he hits the post again. Ah, oh, I'm such an idiot. Fuck. Ah, fuck me. Anyway, we lose our opportunity to equalise, which is what we need to focus on and improve. But, um... Hopefully, I remind myself to take Ukar off corner duty, uh, penalty duty. Sorry, no offense to Ukar in real life. Uh, this is obviously just in the game. Um, but yeah, not looking too good for him as penalty taker. He's meant to be the kind of captain of the club, and he's not really fulfilling that role. Uh, but anyway, here's Ukar again. I need to see some improvement from him. Good ball to Sachin, Frankie, and he makes no mistake this time, guys. One one, tenth goal for Frankie. A good movement. That involved Ukar, which is um, which is uh, sorry, I'm glad to see that he's involved. Hopefully, he gets his morale up. But ultimately, it was a good ball in, good assist from Sachin, um, a pass cut across the defense to Frankie, who makes no mistake, and he continues his good goal scoring run, good dispossession, and Sachin again, Ukar, and what a goal from Ukar! What a way to shut me up about that penalty. Uh, what a goal. Let's see that again, guys. That was outside of the box. It must have been. his Sachin again. A deflected corner, a cross, sorry. Falls straight to Ukar. And the Turkish midfielder makes no mistake. 
this was hardly this was easier to uh, miss than the penalty but he does the absolutely opposite so 2-1 guys again we find ourselves in a position where we've uh, turned the result on its head from being 1-0 down to being 2-1 up and we nearly concede 70th minute again, perhaps I'm not going to rush too much into making changes so early Considering that we've actually been doing alright uh, Rodriguez, he's going to get to that What a ball to Frankie, is he going to put it in? Oh, just about manages um, Fortunately it was a promising counter but The defenders quickly multiplied and Frankie did not have many options And he loses the ball and now we can make some uh, changes. Let's bring in Gojao for Pinasawa. And let's bring on Novotka. Sachin again on a 9. Let's bring in Sambo for Rodriguez. And yeah. eighty-eight minute guys. We need to keep this re result. If we can. His uh, Smith. Good to go, Zhao. Frankie, just a bit bad touch, not the best. Jackman picks it up nicely. Baskerin, we need to play sensibly, and that's exactly the opposite of what we're doing. Gave away a very sloppy uh, throw in. An injury for Rotherham. That should be the end of the whistle, guys. We were like a minute over at a time. And it's a free kick for all oh my days. Don't you dare tell me we're going to concede right now. Because I'm going to just fucking smash this phone on the fucking floor. Yes. Yes, we get a good result, guys. We get a good result. Okar, Frank, Frankie. Good goals. We've come again from one nil down. And uh, let's see where that puts us in the table. It was that in the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, that was in the uh, sorry, that was in the FA Cup, guys. That wasn't in the league, so that wouldn't really have any resemblance. Okay, so apparently we've mastered my master. Wait, apparently we mastermind a giant killing. Usually, that only comes up when we beat teams that are significantly better than us, which seems to be the case. Okay, so following the team's heroic victory of Rotherham, the board has made an additional sixty. Uh, 60,000 pounds available in transfer funds so that's good it shows the board has been very appreciative of my of our efforts in the club so obviously it's not just down to me the players have to follow my tactics on the pitch in order to okay so let's look at the board confidence before we go off it seems that we are in the best of terms with the board members still even after turning the club's fortunes around somehow but i think uh i think it's more down to our league position rather than our current form because our current form is not bad but our league position still hasn't improved we're still uh, 18th as you guys can see and we're no no uh we're no further to that relegation spot than we were at the start we're literally on 19 points um yeah, we're just about three points above that relegation spot. Still got a lot of work to do, but definitely we're improving. And definitely our players are showing their potential. Here we've got Sachin. He's worth £120,000 now. Look at him. He's three stars, promising forward. And he's got five goals and five assists in 11 games. Absolutely brilliant. We've got Pinosawa here as well, 160 k worth. He's becoming a... He's still a one-star current. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.